again, the curriculum that we are using is Tennessee Skills, Tennessee Foundational Skills Curriculum Supplement. We're using the grade one materials, unit one, and today we're on lesson two. So I'm really excited about these objectives. So in today's lesson, we're going to really revisit if you had kindergarten materials and you worked in the code book. So we're going to revisit the consonant code book and the vowel code book. We're going to work on how, how we pronounce the sounds that we need to pronounce in order to read. We're also going to do a little bit more practice with writing our letters the correct way. And then, of course, we're going to do some chaining. So I'm pretty excited about this work. I hope you guys are too. In order to get our lesson done today, you're going to need a few things. The first thing that you're going to need, again, are going to be your letter cards or your magnetic letters. Now, in the first lesson, we used certain letters, and we talked about how if you don't have the letter cards that you've downloaded, or you don't have letter cards at your home or in your classroom that you can use, then you might could make your own. So some homemade cards that look, um, look something like this might work, but if you want to... Um, find those cards, make those cards, you're welcome to pause the video to be able to do that. I'm going to be using some magnetic letters. So my magnetic letters look like this. Now it's going to be important that you don't go and, and get all of your letters out. You're only going to need certain ones. So please refer to this slide to know which letters to get out. You're going to need two letter P's, a letter T, D, C, G, N, I, and O. You won't need those until the very last activity that we do with chaining. You're also going to need a pencil, and you're going to need access to worksheets 2.1 and 2.2 if you have those from the Tennessee Foundational Skills Curriculum Supplement. If not, if you have a great piece of uh, primary tablet paper, just some tablet paper you might use at school or any type of lined paper, that will work. All right, so once you get your materials gathered, feel free to unpause the video and we will get started. Okay, boys and girls. Let's do a little bit of warming up. I mentioned that we're going to revisit our consonant code book, and we're also going to revisit our vowel code book. So let's do a little bit of warm up. Now, when you know when you see your code books, you know that the speech bubble represents the sound that our brains tell our mouths to make when we see that symbol. So when I see that symbol, a my brain says that I should make the ah sound, right? So let's all practice making that sound. I'll say it, then you say it. My turn, then your turn. My turn. Ah. Your turn. Very good. And if you look on the code book in front of you, you can see that it has a gray bar in the box, in the letter box. So in that gray bar, you see that the bar is very long. That's what we call the power bar. The longer the power bar, the more common it is for us to see that spelling for that sound. So we know the sound is in the speech bubble and that sound is ah. And most often we see that sound written or spelled with the letter A as it is in half. You guys took in a lot of information. So we're going to keep practicing this with the power bar in the speech bubble with our next vowel. Our next vowel, what sound, remember the sound there is I. I. I is going to make you pull your mouth back. I and it's open slightly. Ah, your chin was dropped. So if we go back to this sound, ah, you can feel how much your chin dropped. When we move ahead to the i sound, you feel your mouth pull backwards and your mouth is not open quite as big. 
if I say it, then you say it. My turn. If. Your turn. Very good. Now let's look at the spelling. When you see the spelling down here, you can see that most commonly it's spelled with just the letter I. So that gray letter I is most commonly how we see the I sound represented, as in the word it. You see the power bar there is long again. That means that that is the most common spelling of that sound. All right, let's look at our next vowel sound. In the speech bubble, you see the sound is ah. All right, let's try ah. Ah. I'm going to say it, then you say it. Ah. Very good. Now, when we notice the, what do we notice about our mouth when we say the word, the, excuse me, when we say the sound, ah. Very good, yeah. So our mouth is open, much like the letter O, ah. It's actually the furthest down that we're going to drop our chin when we make a sound. Let's try it again. Ah. Now look at your spelling card. You see your spelling card down there in gray. It shows the letter O. And it shows our power bar is actually a little bit shorter than it was for A and I. So it's not always the way that we spell that sound. But it's commonly spelled ah with a letter O as in hawk. Now let's look at our consonant. So today we're going to we're going to visit some of our consonants and probably revisit some of our consonants because you've you've learned this in kindergarten. Right? So this sound is p, p. I want you guys to listen to me do it one more time and then I want you to try to do it. P. Watch my mouth. Very good. So when you notice this sound and the way that you move your mouth, you notice that it's like a puff of air coming out. There's no voice. Put your hand on your throat. Don't feel anything there. There's no voice in the sound. Look at the red circle. That's the spelling we're going to focus on today. So the spelling for the p sound that we're going to work with today is just the letter P, as in pot. And if you look at the power bar, it's actually the spelling that's most common. There's also another spelling where you double those P's, but see how small the power bar is. That's not as common of a spelling as what we're going to use today. So everyone say, Very good, and we're going to spell that with the letter P. All right, let's do another consonant sound. This consonant sound is B. 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 All right, so with this consonant sound, we're going to close our mouths, B. and we push the sound out again, but in a different way. B. It's got a little bit more vibration towards your lip, as in bat. And we are going to practice with using the consonant B for the B sound today. All right, our next consonant that we are going to look at is the sound T. T. So this is a fun sound to make. So we're going to put our teeth together. T. And we're going to use our tongue to make the sound as in top. You see the red circle? That's the one we're going to focus on today. One letter T as in the word top. What do you notice about the power bars when you look at the spelling card? That's exactly right. So the one that we've circled, the one we're going to work with today, is most common because its power bar is the longest. The other two spellings are not as common because their power bar is not quite as long. Well, let's revisit this one. T. T. Very good. We're also going to work with the D sound today. 
d. When I make the d sound, I've got my tongue at the top of my mouth, my lips are open, and I make the d sound. D, as in dot. Again, when you look at the spelling cards in gray, you can see that we are going to be working with the most common spelling as in dot. One D to make the sound D. We're also going to be working with the K sound. K. I'm going to say it, then you say it. K. Very good. Today we're going to be working with the K sound. That's the sound we make when we see the letter C. You see the spelling card at the bottom has been circled. We're going to work with the letter C and the K sound. As in cat. We're also going to revisit the g sound. G sound. As in gift. You look at the spelling card, you can see that it is also the most common spelling of the g sound. As in gift. I'm going to say it, then you say it. G. Very good, very good. We're going to work with the n sound. N sound. Again, my tongue is going to go to the top, the roof of my mouth, the top of my mouth, and I'm going to have a voice sound. I can feel it in my throat. N, as in nut. When I look at the spelling cards, I can see that that power bar is longer on the spelling that we've circled that we're going to work with today. So it's the most common spelling of the N sound. All right, I want us to review those things that we have just gone over. So we're going to say the sound that comes from the speech bubble, and then we're going to say the letter that represents that sound. Okay? We're going to say the sound and then the letter, and then I want you to say the sound and then the letter. Let's see how well we can do. A. A. Good. Remember, I say it, then you say it. I. I. Good. O. O. Good. P, P. Good. B, B. Good. T, T. D, D. Very good. This one's tricky because you want to only look at the sound in the speech bubble, but the spelling is what we've circled. So let's do that one again. K C. Very good. G. G. N. N. One more time. N, N. All right. You guys did great with that. So I want us to move over to the next part of our lesson where we get to do a little bit of practicing with that. If you remember from our first lesson, you will know that we were able to work with some handwriting and really making sure that we form our letters correctly. So I'm going to do some of that work with you today and then I'm going to give you an opportunity to practice that. All right, so let's start with our first letter. Our first letter is lowercase i. 
So for lowercase i, I'm going to start at the middle line and I'm going to pull down and I'm going to dot it at the top. Now it's important to know that my dot is just a dot. It's not a circle, it's not a star, it's not a heart, even though those might be cuter. We just want one simple dot. So I'm going to start at the middle line and I'm going to pull down and I'm going to put a dot at the top. And that is how I make lowercase i. Lowercase i tells my brain to make, to tell my mouth to make the sound i. So I'm going to pull down i. Now if I finish out this row, i, i. then I get to go find my favorite one. So I'm going to go find the lowercase letter i that looks the most like the example that I have here, and I'm going to put a heart around it. If you'd like to put a star or a smiley face or whatever feels good to you, you are welcome to do that. Now, because we worked on this a little bit yesterday, you've already kind of gotten the hang of how this works. So I did the first row for you. I'm going to model how to make each one of these lessons, each one of these lessons, each one of these letters, and then you guys are going to have an opportunity to go back and finish that up on your own because you guys are big first graders and you're ready to do some work on your own. All right, so let's do uppercase I. I'm going to start at the top, pull to the bottom, go back to the top and cross, and go back to the bottom and cross at the bottom. That is uppercase I, and it tells me to make the sound I. Right, now let's do lowercase O. Start in the center, come around, you touch the middle line, you touch the bottom line, and you say the sound ah. We've just practiced that in our code book. Let's do uppercase O. I'm going to start, come around, touch the top, come around, touch the bottom, and I make an uppercase O, and I say, ah. Now for lowercase t, I'm going to start at the top, pull down, and then I'm going to cross in the middle. Again, start at the top, pull down, cross in the middle, pick up my pencil, and say, For uppercase T, I'm going to start at the top and pull down, and I'm going to cross at the top, and I'm going to say T. The letter T is the symbol for the sound T. You guys have had an opportunity to do some work with me today, and then you've also had some opportunities to do some work on your own. Now we're going to do one last piece of our lesson today, and that's going to involve your letters. And so if you don't have your letters out, go ahead and get those letters out. Get those letters out. I'm going to be putting mine out. I hope that you are putting yours out as well. Now as a reminder, the letters that we need we need two letter P's, we need a letter T, letter D, letter C, a letter G, N, and then we also, those were all consonants, we also need two vowels. We need the vowel I and the vowel O. These are on your screen, so if you need you still need to make your letter cards, just pause the video, make your letter cards. If you still need to find your magnetic letters, pause the video, find your magnetic letters, no trouble. Again, if you're using the Tennessee Foundational Skills Curriculum Supplement, they are available for you to print so that you will have those during each lesson. Okay, now let's get back to it. I have my letters out. I have my two letter P's, my T, my D, my C, my G, and N. 
And you've noticed today that I've got a few froggy things hop, hopping in around in our lesson. When I taught first grade, I, my whole classroom was separated from frogs. I just thought frogs were the coolest thing. So here we are. You guys get to see a few little froggy things, and they might sneak up in our lessons later on. So be looking for those. Okay, that looks a little bit better. Let's do some chaining today. We learned how to chain yesterday, and I want us to continue that today. So let's let's figure out some words today. Let's let's build them as we get started. And you know what, guys? I left a letter out that we need, so I apologize greatly. You're also going to need a letter A today. So. Again, if you need to pause and create that letter, I apologize. I left one of our vowels out. So we're going to need an A, an I, an O, two P's, P, D, B, D, and A. All right, so the first word we're going to chain today is at. At. like for you to build that word as well. At. Now I need to change that word to it. So if I think about these and I think about the sounds that I'm hearing, at, and I think about the word it, the t sound is going to stay the same and I need to change this beginning sound. It. Now I want to change this word to pit. P I t. So I need to add a sound. P I t. Pit. Now I need to change this word to pat. P A T. Which sound do I need to change? That's exactly right. I need to change that middle sound from I to A. A. T. Very good. I want you guys to make the word pot. What did you change in order to make the word pot? Right. So we have to change the A to an ah sound, P ah t pot. Right now, let's change the word to dot. So we're gonna go from pot to dot. P ah t. I need the word d ah t. Yes, I need to change the p. And I look down here in my consonants. Which one of these might work for dot? D d dot. Yeah, it's going to be the letter D to represent that D sound. D, A, T, dot. Right, let's change this word to cot. K, A, T, cot. You guys work on that one. Give me a thumbs up if you got that. Yeah, so this is going to be k -a -t, caught. Very good. All right, we've just got three more. Let's change this word to cop. K -a -p. I'm going to cover mine. Let's see if I can do it secretively. Ta da! Is that what you guys got? Cop? Very good. All right, let's do it again. I'm gonna see, let me see if I can be secretive. I'm gonna cover mine up. I want you guys to make the word cap. We're taking cop and turning it into cap. C -a -p. Cap. Which sound am I changing? The beginning, middle, or end? The middle sound. I'm changing it from a ah to a. Ah. Oh, that 
what you got? I hope so. Cap. All right, very last one. We're going to change it from cap to cat. Cat. Which sound am I going to change? If I want to change the word from cap to cat. Yes, I'm going to change that last sound. So I'll bring my consonant down here. And I wanted it to go to cat. A t. Which one of my consonants represents that t sound? The T. That's right. K a t. So now I have the word cat. Excellent job, boys and girls. I want you guys to stand up. Give yourself a big old stretch it up high. Stretch it out to the side. Stretch it down low and have a seat. This concludes our second lesson of foundational skills in first grade. I'm excited to continue working with you guys. I look forward to seeing you for lesson three, and I hope you enjoyed your day. Please keep in mind that we're going to continue to work and do these um, lessons. So keep this fresh on your mind and keep working on those sounds. See you soon.